Kurosawa is interested in morality and the actions of men in battle. Kurosawa in Seven Samurai shows us that he's one of the great poets of screen violence. He's going to give us, if not more fights, than fights filmed in a way that had never been filmed before. When you see Seven Samurai, you sort of move forward in your seat. Your muscles are tense when you see this picture. Simply the, the, the physicality of Seven Samurai was, was overwhelming. And on a kinetic level, you're right in there with it. I'd never had an experience like this. Kurosawa would have been the first to say that violence, uh, even in the good, interesting pre-war films, uh, was always much too aestheticized. It looked too pretty. Definitely kabuki derived, much closer to dance in some ways than sword fighting. But even when they kind of tone it down for cinema, uh, it's very stylized. The biggest difference that Kurosawa brought right off the bat to the samurai film in Seven Samurai is to get rid of all that stuff. He's making a kind of abstraction of that choreography, and it seems more realistic. He really brings a new style of, of fight choreography to the samurai film. We do have many of the attributes of Chambara, but they are all dignified. They're not trivialized. We feel every death, even the death of the bad guys, the bandits. We know what death means. This is one of the first of the samurai pictures which really lets us know what death is all about. It's not decorative. Death and violence are nasty and dirty and brutish and shocking. When people die, they're dying in the mud. And although Seven Samurai isn't especially violent, uh, both at the time and even today, it's presented in a way that no one could ever accuse it of being glamorized. 